What's up guys, it's Sam here and in today's video we have got a Premier Deck Holder Collection featuring Dragonite V-Star. Yes, another Pokemon Go product, but the main highlight of this is we have a deck box or a deck Premier Bowl as you uh, might call it. But yeah, it's basically a deck holder in the form of a Premier Ball here. Um, you can see what it pretty much comes with. Uh, etched foil promo card, another foil promo card, both of them are going to be Dragonite. Um, Premier Ball deck holder, nine booster packs, and of course one code card for you guys who do play the Pokemon TCG there in the back of a box, nothing fancy there. And then, yeah, you've just got an even more um, detailed breakdown of exactly what comes in this box but yeah it's a very cool product i think it might be a bit of an underrated product because um i wasn't actually sure if i should pick this product up or not because i thought well it's just a a deck box pretty much and i don't really play the pokemon tcg itself and i thought well i don't really need a deck box for something that I would use um but look at it anyway i thought i could use it as a display which might be pretty cool um and i think it's probably a cool product to show um, the TCG players um, so yeah there is the front of the box there it's quite cool it looks really really cool and then inside it's gonna be inside oh it's quite it's quite a sturdy box I thought it'd be like paper and stuff but it's wow it's it's a really sturdy box and then wow check out the inside of that that's pretty well packaged actually you've actually got inserts for the booster packs there oh wow okay so let's take out the booster packs first and yes okay so we'll have a look at the promo cards in a second let me just give you this guy the board card for those of you who play the pokemon board game and then as you can see there wow the inserts are really cool i'm really impressed with that and um you've also got like a um bit of a premier ball there goes my premier ball rolling uh, a bit of a premier ball artwork there um, which actually is the capture animation in the Pokemon Go game, which is, wow, really cool. I'm really impressed with how sturdy this box is. I thought it was just going to be, like, um, very flimsy. But, yeah, this is really big. I mean, wow, this is, like, really sturdy as well. Like, usually when you get a Pokeball pin, um, they tend to, like, get dented and stuff. But this is, wow, this has got some uh, sturdiness to it. And it comes off pretty easily. And then you would literally just put... Your deck in there, which is quite cool. So if I can just compare this with, so for example, I've just got a deck box here. I got this from the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection. People might use this as a deck box, and it's pretty much just got energy card in it for some reason. But um, yeah, it's pretty much just a, a box. And obviously, if I just take some energy cards here, just to show you, people would probably put it in there as a deck box or something. Obviously, you guys would have sleeves, and I'm just using energy cards as an example. But here, you would pretty much just. Well, pop it in there and just, yeah, close the box and, yeah, and then that is your deck box done. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then you just open it again. Well, I've jammed that shut pretty well. All right, okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much um, how the deck box looks. So, if you guys are interested in getting one of these as a deck box, then, you know what, go for it, because it's a really cool product, actually. I'm just going to pop that at the back there. Um, and then we're going to take a quick look at the promo card. So, um, we've, well, we've got a code card and I assume both promo cards are in here. Well, I hope they are anyway. So, there is the promo, well, the code card for you guys. So I'm pretty sure you'll get both of these promo cards in it. And then we've got two promo cards featuring Dragonite V. We've got a Dragonite V star with a Pokemon Go logo. It does fit nicely into a Sword and Shield binder if you guys are creating one of that. So it's a Black Star promo card and you've got another Dragonite V there. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just alternative artworks of a Dragonite V star and Dragonite V cards in the set. I'm assuming, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure they will have the exact same moves as those as well but yeah it's just different artworks to add to your binder collection so there are the two promo cards for you guys and then yeah we've got nine booster packs to open here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay i always like to check the booster packs in case i get something like an error box you never know guys it might happen but yeah we're going to get straight into that so yeah that's a that's a pretty cool product i think um i'm opening pokemon go again i did open pokemon go previously as well not much that i really need from the set but here we go i did want to get the um product i did say that at the start of the video that i wasn't really massively fussed on the product 
as I've mentioned previously, I don't really play the TCG. So I just thought, what's the point in me getting a deck box? Um, especially um, a product that the main focus is the deck box. And this, the price of this product is around the same price as an ETB from Pokemon Go or even like the Radiant EV collection. So I just thought, well, why would I buy that mainly for a deck box? But do you know what? It looked quite interesting. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to check it out. There is a Melmetal VMAX. Wow, look how miscut that is. There's literally no border at the top. Crazy. Um, it's a very dark card as well. It's not really a bright card. Um, and do you know what? Honestly, from the top of my head, I don't even know if we need that or not. But a pull is a pull. A hit is a hit, guys. So, yes. Yeah, so as I said, this this product's quite expensive. But I would imagine that quite a few TCG players might want it as a deck box. I don't know. It depends if you guys prefer having the standard format of a deck box, which was just... Uh, like the example of the Marnie box that I showed you or you guys want a Pokeball for it or not there's a slacking V but I, I do think it's quite a cool product I mean if I did play the TCG I would want this as a deck box because it's just well it's pretty pretty different really so yeah it's a, it's a pretty cool product and you know what it's actually for me it's awesome to actually have on display because I've got loads of Pokeball pins and they have got dents in them so um, and this is generally quite well, very much larger than the standard Pokeball um, tin that you would usually purchase and find packs inside. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a nice display piece. Um, but, yeah, it is a, it's, it's a pretty cool product, actually. I'm impressed with it. In terms of monetary-wise, uh, I mean, you get nine booster packs. So, on average, I don't know, if a, a booster pack costs you £4, it's a holiday set, so I would say maybe around... Uh, four or five pounds so that's nine times five 45 pounds and then you're pretty much paying the extra five to six or seven pounds or however, however much this cost me i think it was like 52 pound 99 um for the actual deck box itself there's another conkle derby so it's not actually um a bad price i would think it's, it's it's actually fairly reasonable um of course you guys don't really need to buy the whole collection just to get the deck box. Um, you could probably find this like on eBay selling separately. I imagine people might sell it separately because I don't know people tend to do that. Not really sure what the price would be. So that could be another alternative. Um, but yeah, if I was a Pokemon Go TCG player, um, or sorry, an actual Pokemon TCG player, not just a Pokemon Go TCG, <laughs> um, it is um, a product that I would be pretty interested in. It's, it's quite cool, it's different. So yeah, it's quite appealing. But yeah, that is pretty much what is in the actual box. Besides that, you get the two Dragonite um, promo cards, which isn't really worth purchasing the box for. You can probably buy them separately from eBay or something. Um, and then yeah, nine booster packs to try your look at some secret rare Mewtwo's or something. As you can see, for me, my look isn't great in this opening. I mean, I did get three hits which um, isn't the end of the world, but it's a good job that I don't really need many cards from the Pokemon Go set anymore. This is the last pack, so I'm just going to see if it is the last pack magic. I have a feeling it's not going to be. Okay, it's not. So, Melmetal Hollow to finish it off. The hits were about three measly hits from nine packs. That's like... A very low hit chance, Conkle V, Slacking V, Mel Metal V Max again. Look at the size of this. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna get a Pokeball that actually compares this in size. So there is a standard Pokeball. This one looks much whiter as well. And there is the actual deck box. So it is much bigger. Um, but as you can see with the Pokeball, it's got quite a few dents in it and stuff. So this is like really, really sturdy. I'm actually impressed with this. Don't know why there's two holes here. Maybe for your cards to breathe or something. Or it just looks like eyes looking at you. But yeah, it's a pretty cool product for you guys who might be interested in it. Just last look at the promo. We've got Dragonite V and the Dragonite V star. I should really sleeve them up. But yeah, that is pretty much the final product from the Pokemon Go set. Um, so yeah guys, hopefully this video gives you a bit of an idea whether you want to purchase this product or not. But yeah, that is it from me. I hope you did enjoy the video guys. If you did, leave a like on the video. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel to get notifications on my future videos. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.